I'm about to give you guys five tips that have helped me out in life with facing my fears. People with a passion. Podcast for the dream chasers. The people who strive for the top. The ones who don't stop at anything to achieve their goals. The people with a passion. Let's get it. People with a passion. How are you guys doing this week? On this week's episode of Shadow Talk, we are going to be talking about fear. Fear is a big setback when you're trying to achieve something, a goal, an aspiration, a career job that you want to have, anything within your passion that you want to pursue. Fear is something that will ultimately prohibit you from doing this if you let it control yourself. I used to let fear control me all the time. Fear was my controlling aspect of life and I finally realized that and started to change it. So while I again say I am no expert, I do have some tips that have helped me out over the years to overcome my fears, face them head on, and actually put them behind me so that I don't have to deal with them anymore. And I do deal with them sometimes, but definitely not as much as I used to. So I'm about to give you guys five tips that have helped me out in life with facing my fears. Let's go. Before I can talk to you guys about the five things that have helped me overcome fear, we need to define fear first. So I'm gonna pull out my handy dandy little notebook where I wrote it down. The definition in the dictionary of fear is an unpleasant emotion caused by the belief that someone or something is dangerous, likely to cause pain or a threat. So since this is a definition of fear, in that they talk about emotion and how fear is an emotion and emotions can be controlled. Since fear is an emotion, it not only affects our mind, but it also affects our physical body as well. If you think about it this way, when you're scared, what happens? You get sweaty palms, your heart starts to race, you might get some adrenaline pumping through your body, and then your mind starts telling you, oh, you shouldn't be doing this. You know, you're getting anxiety, you're getting like scared, all this stuff. Fear is doing that completely. It has a physical aspect to it, and it also has a, an emotional mind aspect to it. So fear is, is a very, very powerful emotion that not a lot of people know how to control. And since it is such a hard emotion to control, a lot of people let that fear take control of them. And so it, it's affecting them completely and they're allowing it to because they don't want to feel this feeling of fear. Feeling of fear is to, it's not a comfortable feeling and a lot of people like to be comfortable. Fear is something that if you don't know how to harness that fear, it can eat away at you and, and, and paralyze you in whatever you're trying to do. So now that we've identified what fear is, we now can break through and t take the steps to break through this fear. So I'm gonna put this camera down now and set up the actual rig to talk about the five steps on how to break fear or how I've broken fear. So now that we've identified the fear, we can now get into the five steps. Now the five steps are one, identify your fear, two, visualize your goal, three, breathe, four, be your own hype man, and five, commit. Those are the five things that have helped me out a ton. So we're gonna go through each one of them to really identify and go deep into each one so you can kind of figure it out your own way and put your own spin to it. So the first one is identifying your fear. Fear, like I said, will hold you back from achieving your goals. And if you don't know what that fear is, you're never gonna be able to break that fear. You have to really identify your fear and figure out what that is to be able to even start breaking through your fear. So I'm gonna give an example using extreme sports. I love extreme sports. I'm an adrenaline junkie, snowboarding, skating, surfing, cliff jumping, skydiving, anything, you name it. If it has adrenaline linked to it, I love it. So what I'm gonna use is cliff jumping. So say you wanna cliff jump, but you're, you're scared. You have this fear holding you back. If you don't know what that fear is, you're never gonna jump off that cliff. You're never gonna be able to just like say, okay, yeah, screw that fear, I'm gonna do it anyway. Because say you get up there and you're like, oh, well, it might be the fear of you being embarrassed by the, your friends by not jumping, or it might be the fear of 
landing on something in the water or it's the fear of the unknown or the fear of getting hurt. If you identify exactly what your fear is, say you're just afraid of heights. If you identify that that's your fear, perfect. You're on the right path. You're doing the right thing because you identified the fear that you have. You can now understand that fear and break it. If you didn't understand it beforehand and now you do, you're one step closer. So after you identify your fear, the next step is to visualize your goal. So say that fear was holding you back, you now know it. Now it's time to visualize yourself actually pursuing and going through that fear and breaking through that fear. So I use this when I skate. Whenever I skate, say there's like a six stair that I'm trying to hit and I want to be able to clear that six stair, but that fear of falling and, and not landing it and getting hurt is holding me back. But now I know that that's my fear and that's what's holding me back. I have now identified it and now what I'll do is I'll sit back and I'll visualize. I'll close my eyes and I visualize exactly what I'm gonna do. I visualize me going down the line. I visualize me looking past where I'm gonna land. I visualize myself landing. And when you visualize, it's not only visualizing how you're gonna do it, but how you're gonna feel when you do it, how you feel when you accomplish your goal. So, like I said, I'm gonna go and hit this six stair. I'm gonna stop for a second, visualize that, and I'm gonna feel how it feels when I land and I just landed so perfectly buttery and I just cleanly rolled off. I'm gonna visualize that and feel that feeling of how I'm gonna feel when I land it. That has helped me a ton with pushing myself past my fear, fear and being able to take the next step to achieving that goal. So now that I've visualized my goals and I broke past that fear, I visualized my goal, now I breathe. Okay, you're at this point where you're like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it right? You visualize it, you see yourself doing it. Then you, if you could see yourself doing it, you can do it. So now that you've visualized it, take a breath, take a second in your nose, out your mouth, breathe, calm, calm your body down because that fear, like I said, it creates, it creates sweaty palms. It creates your heart racing that will hold you back. That feeling that you have, it will hold you back. So learn to breathe. There are different exercises that you can do. Um, if you go into search up breathing exercises, you'll find a ton of them. And a lot of them work for different people. So the ones that I do, the one that I do is, what I do is I'll breathe in, say I'm gonna do a three second, breathe in for three seconds, right? So what I do is I'll breathe in for three seconds, deep breath through my nose, and then I try and blow it out for six seconds, double the amount of time that I just, uh, that I just breathed in. That allows your heart rate to, to go down it allows your nerves to kind of calm. It allows your mind to focus on your breath rather than the thought of the fear that you're, you know, not going to be able to land the trick or whatever it is, whatever your fear is holding you back it kind of takes you away from that after the visualization to be able to calm yourself down. So now that you've identified your fear, visualized your goal and took a breath to calm down. Now it's time to be your own hype man. Hype yourself up. I fucking got this. I got this. this, this is nothing to me. If you become your own hype man and you don't need anybody else to hype you up, you are golden, you are golden. Once you identify that you have it within yourself, you don't need any outside external hype to be able to keep you going. If you have the internal hype to hype yourself up and believe in yourself, you can achieve anything. You really can, but you have to be willing to actually believe in yourself. When you start believing in yourself, even when fear is in your face, oh, oh, if, if you get past that point, please let me know because I would love to see what you're doing because that right there is just, it's golden. It's, a, it's like a, my golden rule for me personally my, and my, my mentality, I always want to be my own hype man. I don't, I don't want anybody else validating myself other than myself because the outside validation, that's more, that's extra. But if you are able to validate yourself and believe in yourself, and be your own hype man, you will take your shit to the next level because no one can fucking stop you when you believe in yourself. Everyone can put you down and if you still believe in yourself, you're gonna take yourself to that next level. So start believing in yourself, be your own hype man and believe that you can do it. Push past that fear and get, get to work and do it. Now after that, you have to commit. You just hyped yourself up. You just got past your fear, you identified it. You did your breathing exercise, commit. Commit, commit, commit. 
fucking send that shit. Whatever you're trying to do, whether it's like a brand or it's starting a podcast or it's hitting that six stair or it's going and, and writing a book and you're releasing it into the public or making a video, whatever the fuck you're trying to do, okay? Commit to it 100%. Do not give a half-ass effort to what you're trying to do and, and uh, compete with fear. If you're giving a half-ass effort and you're fearing that thing, fear will take over. If you are even at 75%, fear will still win. Fear is a strong emotion and it will hold you back. Okay? 100%. Commit to it 100% and have faith that you are going to succeed. You got to have faith in yourself. You got to hold a high standard to yourself that you know you can do it. Push past that fear, bro. And women, whatever, whatever gender you are, push past that fear. Push past it. Okay? Fear will hold you back until you don't let it hold you back anymore okay it's a choice fear is a choice it's an emotion you can change your emotions okay be the one who conquers fear rather than letting fear control you because fear will always win if you have any doubt no doubt no doubt that you're going to do this And I believe in every single one of you guys. If you guys are listening to this and you guys have this fear and you're trying to break through it, that means that you're taking the steps to understand what your fear is and break through it. So you guys are on the right path. If you're watching this video or listening to this podcast and this resonates with you, but you're listening to it to learn, you're on the right path. You're growing. You're you're trying to do the research. Now, don't just listen to me, okay? There's so many other people out there that have countless amounts of tips to break through fear. Okay, now I'm, I, these are just stories that I have had and tips that I use in my personal life that has helped me break through fear. So like I said, take it with a grain of salt if you guys don't resonate. But if you do, I would love to hear your stories. I would love to hear what fears are holding you back and maybe I can help with them. If not, be your own hype man. Fucking break through that fear. Beat your fear. Because I believe in every single one of you guys that are watching this. Whoever's watching this, I believe in you. Okay, I believe in you. Now believe in yourself. You got this. You got this. Don't hold yourself back. Don't let fear win. Okay? At the end of the day, it's you against you. So beat you. Okay? I keep saying okay. (laughs) Uh, I need to work on that for sure. But I hope some of this resonated with you. If it did, hit a like. Hit a subscribe. It would really help me out. Um, Comment anything that has resonated with you in this episode. And I will answer those comments as well. Again, you guys can also DM me on Instagram uh, at Blake Sturger or at People With A Passion. Either one, I will answer. Um, And again, I want to hear you guys' stories. If you guys have a fear, let me know. Let me know about what's holding you back. And, you know, you can also work with other people to help with your fear. If 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 you can't do it yourself, to start off, you can have other people help you out. But... Take the first steps, identify your fears, and do this stuff. And 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 let me know if it works. If it, if it didn't, let me know. If it did, let me know. But just let me know about your experiences. I want to hear about your life too. So, again, another week of People with a Passion Shadow Talk. I love that you guys are here, and I appreciate all you guys. Go pursue your passions, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Yo. Yeah.